A trip south on the 50 kilometer route from Perth to Rockingham has changed greatly in the last 50 years. The destination Rockingham, although more industrialized, remains the same. From being a timber shipping port in the 19th century, it has moved on to become a popular tourist destination. Summer day trippers from Perth traveled in the early 1900s by the SS Zephyr and Emerald. They dined at the Rockingham Tea Rooms and enjoyed the sandy beaches. By the 1930s, many visited by car. This is Uncle Obadiah with the car bouncing along like a boat in a choppy sea, jolting your teeth out every time it hit a bump, and keep saying, Papa, don't drive so fast. And when you suddenly met another car coming the other way on those narrow roads, oh boy, the faithful tin Lizzie would carry them to the sea's edge. Some travelers opted for drinks at the Rockingham Hotel. Others headed to the beach or stayed in the caravan park. Today I head out from my Peppermint Grove home to take the half hour trip to Perth by train. Catching up with a friend in Perth, we take a confusing array of lifts and tunnels to catch the Butler Mantra line. Because of a non functional lift in Perth, we take a total of seven lifts in Perth and two in Rockingham. The half hour trip to Rockingham by train is rapid and comfortable. Rather than take the bus from the train station into town, we opt to cycle in along Ray and Reed Road. It's a beautiful warm cloud this day with wide cycle paths on the road. On Reed Road, we passed the Rockingham Shopping Center and Rockingham High School, where I used to work. It takes about 20 minutes to reach the seafront from the train station. The wind seems to have got warmer. Yeah, this is sunset.
Pizza has not changed much in the last hundred years and still remains a popular summer destination for travelers. Our destination, located at the site of the original Rockingham Tea Rooms, is the Sunsets Restaurant. As we eat a seafood meal, we reflect on the differences in travel over the years. <laughs> 